What's going on guys? So I am heading over to Portland, Texas, which is actually just on the other side of the Harbor Bridge, which is the really tall bridge that they're gonna be tearing down real soon in Corpus Christi and replacing it with, I believe it's one of the longest, if not the longest cable stay bridges in the United States. It might be a little bit shorter than the longest, but it's a pretty dang big one regardless. When you see this bridge, it's gonna kind of blow you away because the driving platform of the new bridge is gonna be as tall as the highest portion of the existing bridge. And when you see how big the existing bridge is, it's actually pretty amazing. Anyways, I have about 12 minutes till I get there, so I thought I would share with you what I'm doing today. I am going to be trading in my Easy Go golf cart that you guys might remember me getting about a year and a half ago along with one of my small utility trailers, it's a 12 foot Big Tex trailer, for a new trailer, which I'm really excited to get for a lot of reasons. So hang tight. I am just getting into rush hour, and it gets pretty bad here too, so I'm gonna try to handle this the safest way possible and go a little slower than everybody else. I don't necessarily believe in getting caught up in all the frenzy of people trying to rush home especially when I'm towing something all of this construction you see going on around here is kind of typical of Texas but it's specifically happening here because of the new bridge project so this entire track that we're going on in a minute to get onto the old bridge is going to be gone and they're going to make a much more direct route off of the interstate to get onto the new bridge we are actually passing by downtown Corpus Christi, which you can just barely see on the right. We actually have a really beautiful downtown because it rests right on the waterfront. Anyways, that is the Harbor Bridge up ahead. So I am on my way to Taggart Motor Company in Portland, Texas because I'm going to be trading in my golf cart, which was the six passenger easy go super customized golf cart and my 12 foot big Tex utility trailer for a bigger trailer that I'm going to need for other projects. Now this is a really cool company because they don't only sell trailers, but they also sell used vehicles. And it's one of the very few places that you can buy a used vehicle and feel comfortable that you're getting a good quality used vehicle. There's so many dealerships that are sprinkled all throughout communities that just sell junky vehicles. They sell a vehicle that you're kind of afraid to get into, even though the outside and the inside might look great because you really don't know the history of it. Taggart is known in the community as one of the more reputable used car dealerships, and they sell pretty much all later model pre-owned vehicles. It's almost like the pre-owned section of a new car dealership. You're pretty assured to get a vehicle that's gonna be a good quality vehicle. Anyways, I think you're gonna like the trailer that I'm getting. I'm getting it again for a lot of different reasons. I move a lot of stuff around and I don't have an enclosed trailer. I do have a few other trailers, but for the most part, they're not really functional if it's raining outside or if I need to move something long distance over the road. You just don't want to run into a scenario where your stuff's going to get damaged just because you caught a bad rainstorm or something like that. I'll also be able to move a vehicle around inside of the back of this specific one as well. So we are just about to pull into Taggart and I'll get out and show you what I'm trading in and what I'm trading it for. So I'll be right back. Hang tight. I'm telling you, he has some really nice pre-owned vehicles here. So here is my old Big Tex trailer I'm getting rid of, 35 SA. And here's the golf cart that we're trading in. As you guys remember, I loved this thing when I got it, but we just don't use it enough, so figured we trade it in for something that we did need. Hold tight, I'll show you what we're getting. For the cargo mate. Kind of give a walk around of this new trailer I just got. I'm here with Raul with Taggart. Uh, Raul Borrego, Taggart Motor Company. Here with JD. This is one cool dude. He's kind of their trailer expert. So I am purchasing a eight and a half by 20 foot enclosed cargo trailer. It's seven foot tall. Seven foot tall. And of course black on the outside. It's got the rock guard coming up front on, on the of the trailer there. Come across to here. It's got the wider door for the open step to help you get in and out. 
This is nice. Up front. This has the all LED lighting package all on the LED outside. All the way around. You've got three eighths of plywood on the side. You got three quarter plywood down below here as well too. Uh, the back end of the trailer's got a small dovetail for easy loading as well too. And that's the ramp gate in the back that folds down, which we'll fix to do here shortly. Okay. Easy to install the E-Track system in here, right? That's correct. That is correct. Now, we're so. coming across here. This, these are the axles. We've got two 5,200-pound axles with brakes on both axles. Tires are 225-75R15. Uh, GVWR, the trailer is 9,800 pounds. So typically, this trailer would come with, what, 3,500-pound axles? Uh, the majority, yes, sir. There's so. 5,200-pound axles on these. Now, with the ramp gate, this just comes down this way here. Two cables here for the ease, as you can see, lifting the gate up and down. I've got two fingers on it, and relatively easy, so it works out great. Perfect. What comes down here? This little board comes down for easy loading as well, too. So if you got something to roll up here, it works out extremely well. This is a small dovetail I was talking about the back here. Okay. So it's easy to come right up through the trailer and come out from here. Good then deal. as far as flow through the system, you got a flow through vent up here. And you got a flow through vent back over here that keeps circulation. And of course, it's airtight or it's watertight, so you do not get any kind of evaporate or participation on the inside of here. So it works out extremely well. No water goes in. Good deal. Hey, this is a cool truck you got back here, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> got a 450. Man that's after my own heart. 450 XL, that's correct. Again, the safe bed in the back, you can pull the a trailer from bumper, or you can pull it with gooseneck as well, too. Four-wheel yeah. drive, diesel, setup. Yep. It's got it's the awesome. 6.7 in it. That's correct. Guys, when I told you the Taggart's got very nice pre-owned vehicles, they really have some nice pre-owned vehicles. It's not your typical pre-owned dealership. And that's so. just one of the many that we have that are Taggart certified. Yes. And you can see back here, they got Big Tex gooseneck, got dump bodies. They got everything back here, horse trailer or that's livestock. That's so. Closed. We got them. <laughs> yep. So this is the bad boy I'm getting today. 20 feet long, all LEDs. I love the diamond plate around the back. I love the bigger axles. This just gives me a ton of flexibility, and it's going to be a nice companion for the truck. The only thing I need to do is wrap it in ruby red. <laughs> and you're ready to go. <laughs> Anyways, Raul, really appreciate it. It's My been pleasure. awesome dealing with you as That's always. Awesome. And of course, you guys need the panning shot of this. That is a really good looking trailer. It's roughly the same length as the truck. So this will be my new cargo trailer. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.